Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial, yay, I like never do makeup tutorials. And if you're wondering who this person is right here, I'm like, <laughs> this is my friend Tara. So She's an awesome makeup artist, she's been doing makeup for how many years? For about seven. Seven years, she's done the Miss America pageant. Miss USA. Whatever, USA, America, whatever. So she's done the Miss <laughs> USA pageant, makeup. She does weddings. Um, she's taught me a lot of what I know. She wanted to do a look on me today. New Year's Eve look, cut crease, a simple way to do it. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna use a full coverage foundation. I'm using the Lancome one. It's a 24 hour. This is like the best foundation ever. It's matte, full coverage, love it. This is like, this concealer is so white, guys. Like, because you know how pale I am. It's Chantilly, it's the NARS Radiance Concealers. So we're going full out glam. If there's ever a time to do that, like, don't you think New Year's Eve would be it? The best way to do that with dramatic contour, it's a nice little check mark, and then afterwards you're gonna blend it with either a brush or your finger. All right, so down the nose. My big nose. Cute. Chin. And then a little bit on the forehead. I'll bring the light. So you're bringing the light to the center of the face, and then we're gonna blend. I'm gonna use a cream contour for this look because I want Julia to look really glamorous. I love to be glamorous. Whenever I'm doing somebody's makeup and they're like, oh, I wanna be so natural, I like it sad. Like I like to do crazy dramatic makeup. We should just leave it like that. Look, I'm already Kim Kardashian. Blended everything with a beauty blender, and now to add more intensity, I'm gonna use. Okay, we're gonna do like a peachy golden blush. This is Luster from NARS, this is really good. It's gonna make her green eyes look really pop. By the way, everybody that was yelling at me to film in better lighting, I hope this is good lighting for you because it really shows like every flaw. In every flaw. All right, now I'm gonna make her look like JLo and put a Becca highlighter on her. These highlighters, I'm obsessed with. They're the liquid ones from Becca. I feel like it just came out as like a holiday thing, but I think it's a permanent set in the collection. Regardless of what you're doing with your makeup look, brows are always gonna frame your face. So super important to fill them in just a teeny bit, even if you just wanna use a powder. What I like to do with my brows is do a pencil. Just outline them with the pencil, fill them in a little bit. You can give yourself that arch that everybody wants. The first color I'm gonna be using with a 224 MAC brush. All right, so I'm gonna be using this color in the crease to use this transition color. So this is the color we're gonna use for the cut crease. First step, I'm gonna use a smaller brush and create a line right above your crease. So you want the line to stop at the inner rim of your eye and you want it to only go out to the tip of your eyebrow. You can kind of use that as placement. Don't pull it out all the way to here. This is gonna kind of be your guide. If your eyebrow was to go all the way down here, you never wanna go past that. So using a blending brush, you're gonna blend the shadow upwards. So a little bit right here, do the window wiper motion, just so it's not such a sharp line. You need the uh, windshield wiper motion. Windshield wiper motion. And then over here, you wanna blend up and outwards. You never wanna drag down or pull the eye down. You kinda look like a, a sad puppy. Mm, a sad puppy. And even if you need to, dip your brush back into the shadow of your choice. And you can add a little bit more so it fades from dark to light. So you see as I'm blending, the line's starting to soften up. And you just wanna stay directly on the line or above it, you can blend up your line. So after the cut crease, we're gonna put some glitter on. But before we do that, we're gonna put down this gold shadow so that there's no holes in the look. So I'm gonna be using this gold color from the Marc Jacobs palette. The Siren palette, I'll link the, um, just put it in the description box below. It's from Sephora, it's just all these rainbow colors. Any gold eyeshadow will do. It's really important in your placement. You don't want the, the gold hitting the purple much. You wanna put it right underneath the cut crease that we created. Now if you see like nothing showing up, you really wanna pack it on because you want a lot of boldness with this look. So even if you have to, use your finger, why not, and pack it on. All right guys, so for the next step, we're gonna dampen a flat brush with a MAC Fix Plus. All right, so I sprayed my brush. I'm gonna dip a little bit of it in the glitter. Totally 
recommend putting a tissue underneath the eye. You're Honestly, gonna... you can just like tape it to your face if you don't have a little assistant like me. So I'm gonna have you close your eye and then you're gonna pat. Pat right underneath the line of the cut crease. MAC Fix Plus actually smells really good. Like I feel like I would wear that as a perfume. So I'm totally gonna add a wing liner with this look. It's just gonna look so perfect with the cut crease that we created. Okay, so we did a really dramatic wing. Obviously this looks wild without mascara on, so we're totally gonna do mascara and lashes and show you guys that. As you can see, I still got a little bit of glitter on my face. I would probably have done these eyes before I even did my face. I just didn't wanna be on camera looking crazy without foundation for too long. All right, so Julia is being really cooperative right now when I'm putting oh the gosh. black eyeliner in her, in her rim. It's gonna add a little bit of intensity. Let me see, look for it. See? All right, so I'm just gonna use the black eyeliner, smudge it out a little bit to add more intensity. It's gonna go on both sides. And then afterwards, that smaller brush that we're using for the line in the purple, I'm gonna go back, dip it in that purple again, and then smudge it out. So this is the final look. We really only just used three different shadow colors, two neutral colors, and a gold, and a glitter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and are happy to have met Tara. If you want me to do more videos with her and more makeup tutorials, let me know and I will. Even if you don't, I might still do it. Um, so I'm going to post the link to all her information, her Instagram for her freelance business and everything in the down bar. She does a lot of cool tips and tricks on there, so if you want to follow her, you can. And I promise you I don't look like this hot mess today. No, she does. She's even like uglier. All the time. Just kidding. That sounded really mean. All right. Bye. Bye. Okay. Action. All right, guys. <laughs>